Handicap parking. It was created to provide a safe, convenient, and comfortable area for those who have disabilities to enter and exit their vehicles. It was first created in 1968 with the Architectural Barriers Act, but it wasn't till 1990 that it was regulated nationwide thanks to the Americans with Disabilities Act, which also introduced the access aisle, which took it a step further in providing a safe area for those who use wheelchairs or other mobility devices to load themselves and their device in and out of their vehicle. Handicap parking provides the accessibility to those with disabilities to function in society and live everyday life more comfortably. But is this always the case? Is handicap parking always available and convenient for those who truly need it? Are there people out there taking advantage of handicap parking and abusing it? That's what we're here to find out. Considering the emblem for handicap parking is someone using a wheelchair, we thought it only right to find out what the opinions of wheelchair users were on handicap parking. And it didn't take long to figure out that something wasn't quite right. We posted in a Facebook group targeted towards wheelchair users asking for their thoughts on handicap parking, and users were quick to voice their opinion saying that they had plenty of stories of problematic handicap parking. One person said that everyday people are selfish and uneducated when it came to handicap parking. Others said they had to physically beg for people to park better, and some simply said it's a big problem. Many even supplied pictures of times they've encountered problematic handicap parking. But that's just online. We wanted to find out more. We want to find out firsthand if these rumors are true. It's not always great. Legally, they're, allowed, they're supposed to have so many ADA accessible parking spaces per hundred other parking spaces. And so that's all that they require, that's all that they're going to do. But it sucks whenever someone parks in those, the hashes, the aisle, and then you're screwed because you can't get out. And so we park at the end, park at the very far end of the parking lot. A lot of places will have loading places for vans that are not big enough. So if a car parks beside me in the van, it's not large enough for me to be able to unload and load. It's a little infuriating. I'm getting out, I've got a van, so the ramp comes out on the right side. And if there's not enough space, then we pull the ramp back in and we've got to park somewhere else. And that, that sucks. Or I'm already inside. I've had to ask strangers to be able to back out my van. That way I can get into it. It, just, it can be frustrating, man. It can be really frustrating. And there's been times where they got parked, it's just, it's just not enough. I've uh, been to the mall once and the mall cop tried to give me a ticket uh, because I ended up double parking uh, in the back of the parking lot because everybody took the accessible spots. I need somewhere to park. In my own apartment complex, People just don't care, they're like, oh, like it's only for a minute. But it turns out to be 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour. I try and do something different, go park somewhere else or go further down. And I don't always like, so mine's based off a of battery, right? So like if I, if I don't have any battery left to go like further distances, I'm kind of screwed, like these are my legs. After hearing firsthand from actual users of handicap parking of just how problematic and unaware people are of people who truly depend on it, we wanted to see for ourselves just how bad it is out there. And after just an hour of looking, we came across multiple upon multiple cases of problematic parking. So can this ever be resolved? Is the convenience of handicap parking always going to be an inconvenience for those who truly need it? How can this change? As a person who's a disability advocate um, and always thinking about inclusion, right? right? So as a person who is always advocating on every front, um, it's, it's being intentional. I think oftentimes that uh, we say we're gonna just help the people with disabilities and it's more of an athlete well. So, oh, let's just just park a spot here because we didn't reach our quota, uh, but it's being more intentional. Is this problem going to be gone by tomorrow? Probably not. But it seems like the fight for change has to start today. And from what we've heard throughout this journey, it all starts with advocating and growing awareness. So, be aware and spread it.